This is Mastering Application Concerns with JavaScript, a packed publishing video course. My name is Michael Rosada. I'll be your instructor through this course. I've been a professional JavaScript developer for almost five years. In this time, I've built some web apps used internally by large companies. I love the JavaScript community and ecosystem. It was this community that first introduced me to functional programming. I'm the founder of the Mass Web Devs Meetup Group. We're a meetup group in Massachusetts. I write about development at onethingsimple.com. And late in 2016, I began a YouTube channel that focuses on JavaScript. This is an advanced course. It's all about handling application concerns with functional programming, how to use functional programming to handle problems or meet advanced development challenges that every app faces. We'll be taking functional programming to a professional level. First, we'll learn about data type classes in functional programming, and we'll start with the functor. The functor will become the basis for many other data type classes. We'll start very simple in this first section to make sure this foundation is solid. And we'll even brush over some minor details like type notation as we do so. And then we'll take the functor from section one and step by step, you'll build it up into a monad. We'll discuss the different type classes that a monad must support. We'll see how they connect, learn to use algebraic data types, and how monads can be used to meet application concerns such as error handling and eradicating the need for null and undefined checks in a very elegant way. JavaScript applications have a lot of asynchronous code. So async functions, they add a component of time. We'll see how promises are actually based off of the monad, which will make using the future monad much more accessible. You'll learn about observable streams, which also can remove the impurities introduced by time, allowing us to stick closer to our functional code of ethics. Since all apps need a database, we're going to introduce Google's Firebase, a modern real-time JSON database. Firebase also includes tons of features for developing and deploying apps. Our focus will mainly be on the challenges of writing functional JavaScript while introducing technologies such as Firebase to an app. To do that, we'll have to learn how to create an app with Google's Firebase, set up rules, and insert data. Our finishing touches will include discussing tests and will more deeply integrate Firebase into the action reducer data store our app already uses, which will utilize observable reactive style streams, data updating in our app, our DOM in real time, and from an external source. All this while still maintaining a deterministic representation of our app's DOM. This course covers a few important topics in depth. We'll do a good job of explaining those, but to help you make it through, you should understand what is meant by a pure function, a higher order function, and what it means to curry a function. The difference between a mutative operation, like array.push, and a non-mutative operation, like array.slice. It's assumed that you understand scope, closures, that you've used promises, we touch upon promises in this course only as a means to bridge the gap between them and more complex functional data type classes. Finally, this course builds off a project started in another volume that uses JSX to build HTML templates and JavaScript files. Most of the concepts taught in this video should apply to almost any large JavaScript project though.